my crack about um you know not having an iphone that has a usb-c port is a nice little segue that we can do into the samsung galaxy s24 ultra and that's um obviously the s24 line in general has come out recently um i only wanted to touch on it um because you know just so that you know no one thinks that we only focus on apple products but i actually um quite liked what i was seeing um with this particular device and even like the whole range and it kind of just highlights that you know there's obviously the always the alternative and you know the android um fan base is obviously going to go for it but um <clears throat> it's um the thing that i found about uh like i actually looked at it and thought oh, i'd actually uh, the thing is i wouldn't because you know i'm steeped in um the apple ecosystem unfortunately for in this particular case but uh, i definitely wouldn't mind um you know, if I in another parallel universe, I would have um, picked picked this up because um, there was another um, another YouTuber was um, going through some use cases of it, and with um, Samsung Dex, he could like I, I was just talking about that portable monitor that I had. He, you could just plug like the S twenty four straight into the monitor. Dex comes up, and you've got like a Chromebook style thing going on. So that that's that's one thing it obviously has over something like the iphone like that truly could be like your single device maybe if um you can uh, work within some of its limitations but it seemed pretty awesome in that respect oh look uh, and i'll just put this out there for anyone who's been with apple for so long they feel they could never leave it isn't that traumatic to swap over to an android phone when you find the data they're scraping from you, they, that will be trauma. But the actual changeover is not the changeover is not that bad. And uh, the, that is, you've actually touched on the one thing that even with the Android phones I had between uh, 2015 and uh, I think 2021, though, those Android phones they connect just like another device, whereas, of course, Apple always have their iOS and their phones, and that's different to their sort of, you know, uh, computing range or their PC range, and they have all those sort of OS barriers or whatever it is they put in there between the two. So, you know, that that is probably what you've touched on, one of the things I did like about Android devices. And, and so, yes, your phone becomes part of your PC ecosystem, rather than a separate mobile device. Um, but it does look like a good phone. I've never been a, a, a real sort of a fan of, of, of the Samsung phones, but I think you're right. If I was going to go back to Android now, I think Samsung uh, the, and the S24 would be what I'd be looking at. And to me, it seems like the one that's like most head to head with the iPhone anyway. Um, I'm sure, I don't know, you know, I'm not steeped in Android phones. So, you know, people can tell me if there's another option like that. But it seemed on the surface anyway that uh, the Samsung range is the one that's really competing with the iPhone. Google might think they are, but I I, I agree with you, Ben. I, I really don't think the Pixel is uh, really a patch on the Samsung or, or the iPhone, to be honest. 